The recent iOS 11.4.1 software update for iPhone and iPad finally enabled USB restriction mode. We're going to walk you through what it does and how it works in this video. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider. You may have seen this screen pop up on your iPhone or iPad recently with the 11.4.1 software update and wondered why should I bother doing this? It generally looks like a pretty minor update, but it includes one important feature, which is that aforementioned USB restriction mode, which can prevent access using the lightning port on your device after an hour of being unlocked. This can prevent thieves and even law enforcement from accessing data on your phone when you don't want them to. To turn it on or off, go into settings, face ID and passcode, and enter your credentials. Once you enter your iPhone's unlock code, you can scroll down and nearly at the bottom of the page, there's a new toggle available for allowing access when the phone is locked and it says USB accessories. By default, it is off, which is exactly what you want. You do not necessarily want USB accessories to be able to access data on your phone when your phone is locked. If you do want USB accessories to have access to your phone and your phone's data when your phone is locked, you can go ahead and toggle it on. With this toggled off, one hour after your phone was last unlocked, it'll turn off access to USB accessories. Now, if you're ever in a situation where you want to lock it down right away, you can actually use Emergency SOS, which is five presses of the side button. So if you press that side button five times, it'll actually disable Face ID, requiring a password to unlock your phone, and it'll disable the USB port at the same time. Apple says this feature is intended to keep your data safe and not to specifically thwart law enforcement. Many law enforcement organizations have recently been using the gray key unlocking box that brute forces password attempts to gain access to your phone. While law enforcement may have those altruistic values, it's not always going to be a good thing. Anything that could be used by law enforcement could also be used by criminals and thieves to gain access in a similar fashion. When USB restricted mode is on, you'll still be able to charge your phone. It'll still charge and operate as normal, you just won't have access to your device's data until you unlock it again. Even though USB restricted mode was just released, security researchers are already trying to find ways to bypass it. There are already reports out about how certain Apple accessories may extend the USB restriction mode lockout time to beyond that initial hour. We will have to see how Apple responds and if any changes are made to USB restricted mode in future iOS 11 updates or when iOS 12 comes out this fall. What do you guys think of the new USB restricted mode? Let us know down below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.